David Green from Green and Phillips is here on Studio 10 once again. David, good to see you. Glad to be here. Yeah, I think this is your first visit here since our time changed to 9 o'clock, so we appreciate you being here a little yeah. bit later. And today, David is going to walk us through a typical personal injury case. So, David, if someone comes to your office and is suffering from whiplash or some other injury associated with an accident, what can they expect? Well, number one, you can be treated with respect. People are going to come out. Our folks are going to greet you, offer you something to drink bring you into our intake room and, and investigate your case. You're going to be greeted by an attorney who's going to sit down with you that's going to be knowledgeable about your type of case. It's going to ask you certain questions, going to answer certain questions. And so that should make you feel very comfortable in coming to our office. You know, sometimes people may feel like, gosh, I, I, I'm going to be nervous because I've got to talk to a lawyer or I want to talk to a lawyer, but I'm not sure about it. We're going to make you feel like you're, you're right at home. We're going to make you feel like you're part of our family. Well, that sounds great. But one one thing I know that people are nervous about is they hear the word lawyer, they think about money, they think about fees. Once someone hires you, tell them about if there's a fee. Well, there's not a fee to sit down and talk to us, and the only way we get paid is we get a percentage of the total at the end. So there's never a reason to be worried about having to pay someone up front, uh, come in and, oh gosh, I'm creating a bill. I don't want to create a bill. I've got too many bills now. I've been involved in this accident. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to charge you anything unless we collect money for, for you, and that's at the end, only if we get something for you. That is very important and great to know. So after that initial, initial meeting with your client, what happens next? Well, well, our case manager and the attorney signed to your file is going to investigate the case. And a case manager is sort of like a paralegal. That's our in-house term of someone that's going to work with you and help you with your case. But that individual is going to build your file, get the accident report, gather the med medical records, and make sure that you're getting the treatment that you need and deserve since you've been in that wreck. Well, you mentioned treatment. Once that treatment is completed, all the medical treatment is done, what happens next? Well, the case managers put together a package of all the records, they gather everything, and then they get that to the insurance company with the lawyer's approval, and then negotiation of the case starts. All right, so that's when the negotiation starts. When it finishes, everybody wants to know how long does it take to get that final check? That is a question everyone wants to know. Basically, from about 90 to 120 days from the time your case starts, we resolve our cases. It doesn't take a lot of time. They're not necessarily going to court. As a matter of fact, about 2% of our cases ever even get filed in court. Wow. No money to pay up front. That's very important right. to remember. And then once the settlement is done, that's when the transaction will take place. Very good to know. David Green, thank you so much for coming in again. Thanks for having me. All right.